you guys can enjoy some failed attempts at some thumbnail photos before we get into the video. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It is Friday. I have worked a very long week and I am so exhausted. So I'm trying not to take a nap by baking and making some cold brew from home. Cold brew is my favorite form of coffee anytime I go to any coffee shop. And it's really expensive and that is because it takes such a long time to make. But I decided I'm going to make some of my own. Also because this Stoke, I don't know how it's pronounced, this brand of cold brew coffee at the grocery store is my absolute favorite. And this thing is like $6 and I go through one a week. So we're going to try my hand at making some homemade cold brew and because it's all folly outside it's literally like 63 and it feels amazing i'm gonna make some pumpkin bread pumpkin roll is actually my favorite form of pumpkin dessert but i think it's mostly because of the cream cheese in the middle <laughs> so i'm just gonna make pumpkin bread and spread some cream cheese on top and i think it'll be the same effect both of these recipes are actually from the same exact person and did not even realize that so cookieandkate.com gets credit for both of these recipes however the cold brew recipe is very simple it really doesn't need a recipe but obviously i'm gonna look it up so i don't ruin anything also small little plug for one of my college friends she opened up her own coffee shop it's actually mobile it's called the morning glory it's in rockwell north carolina it's a coffee camper so it's like a food truck she travels all around sells coffee different days she has a facebook page so you can keep up with where she's gonna be at on certain days i'll leave a link in the description if you want to check her out i don't live in rockwell north carolina obviously so i supported her by buying this t-shirt it is so soft and i love it it's nice fall colors anyways so let's go ahead and get started from what i read the best tasting cold brew comes from beans like directly the coffee beans however i don't have beans i do have ground coffee and i just decided to buy this brand because it says cold brew and i was like well maybe they know what's happening and they have some sort of secret so we're gonna try to make this for our cold brew we're gonna make it first i'm gonna fill these up i'm gonna make two i don't know how big they are that's probably important on my measurements Oh, here we go. 800 milliliters. I'm on the freaking imperial system. I know metric. Oh, here we go. Three to 24 cups, ounces. I'm way too tired to do this math. We're supposed to use one ounce of coffee grounds per cup, I think. Or is it tablespoon? Also, everybody has their own opinion on how long you steep the coffee overnight. Everything says at least 12 hours up to 24 hours. So, y'all, busy season is killing me this year. I tell you, my brain is so tired every day. And I literally have taken a nap every day after work this week, except for yesterday. Hold on, what am I trying to do? How many ounces? A tablespoon? Is a tablespoon an ounce? Am I dumb? Okay, a tablespoon is 15 milliliters. So that's going to get me nowhere in this American world that I live in. <laughs> Okay, so anyone else was wondering, one tablespoon is half an ounce. So two tablespoons is an ounce. So two tablespoons of ground coffee per cup of water. You guys want a little sniff sniff? <laughs> two? Yeah, two tablespoons per cup of water. Four, five, six. We have our two mason jars. Now let's get the water. It says it does best with cold water. It is cold brew. But definitely do not do hot water. So room temperature or cold. Oh, I feel like I'm doing a scientific experiment and blow up the chemistry lab. Okay, you guys. Wow, they look good. Also, am I supposed to leave it open or am I supposed to seal it? If it has to be room temperature. Well, no, the air in it is still room temperature if I seal it. Well, if I leave it open and some bug comes in there and gets it before I get a chance to drink it. We're going to talk about how I'm going to filter this in the morning, as in I'm going to figure it out with you guys. <laughs> we'll get to that in the morning. I'm spending way too much time in this cold brew. All right, I'm going to put this on the counter. Pumpkin puree. I don't have a can opener. And it's not a pop top. I only buy pop tops because I have broken four can openers in my 25 years of life. And it all happened in the four year span of college. But now is the time when I need one. So we're gonna have to figure this out together. Preheat oven to 325. That's probably gonna be preheated for an hour before I'm ready. Oh, I do need a grease my loaf pan. <laughs> It's greased and ready. In a large bowl, beat the oil and honey together with a whisk. Oh my God, drain honey. This is gonna be interesting. You can use coconut oil or extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna use whatever olive oil I have. One third of a cup of oil. And <laughs> look at there, folks. Extra virgin olive oil. She ain't slept with nobody. Oh, my measuring cup doesn't do thirds. <laughs> a lot of oil hold on yeah third of a cup look at all that oil you guys half a cup of honey oh this is gonna take forever y'all ow 
Are you guys getting this? Ow! <coughs> it looks like it's pooping. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. This thing is constipated! Ow! Oh, you guys know how honey gets. You open up the honey thing, the whole kitchen gets sticky. It's like magic. Y'all, this is my entire container of honey. Alright, that's enough honey. We don't need no diabetes. We gotta beat this with a whisk? This is the clumpiest honey. I bet it's expired. <laughs> the bees that made this already dead, I tell you. I don't think that's what it's supposed to look like, but what's new? If you've seen any of my cooking videos, you know this is exactly what is expected. Add the eggs and whisk until blended. Two eggs! I don't want to show you guys me cracking an egg because I always get the shell in here and it's really embarrassing, so I just have to dig out the shell. <laughs> Okay, you guys definitely missed that one. My whole entire hand just ended up in the look, look, uh, We gotta whisk together the egg, the honey, and the olive oil. Yeah, this kind of looks cool. Add the pumpkin puree. This is when it's gonna get fun. I really wish I took a nap because I'm probably gonna get frustrated at my inability to open this without a can opener. But apparently you take a sharp spoon. I think the definition of a spoon is for it not to be sharp so you don't cut your mouth. And you grab it like this and you go on the edge of the can back and forth until it cuts. I think I read that if you start a fire, you've gone too far. <laughs> Just kidding, but this is definitely gonna ruin my spoon. That's okay, I got the cheap kind at Target. It's actually a lie, these spoons were like $60. <laughs> are we doing anything, can? Can you help me out? I wonder why they don't recommend doing this with a knife. Don't try this at home, kids. I may completely just lose my hand in this can. There is definitely gonna be some metal shavings in this pumpkin bread. This is a workout I did not intend on having. I don't wanna end up like cutting my hand open. I think I got a haul. Y'all, I am sweating. We're gonna run a poll on my Instagram so I can take a break. You may have voted in this. Will I get this open without a can opener? What you didn't know when you voted on this was that I've already tried for half an hour. I'm, I don't even have the brain power to put any witty answers. We're just gonna put yes and no, cut straight to the point. Not usually my style, but it's gonna work. Oh my gosh, you guys. We're in some serious, dangerous level of the can right now. People don't use deodorant because the aluminum's in them. I'm about to eat pumpkin bread with aluminum in it. Ah! I see you, pumpkin. I know my dad is watching this cringing at me right now because he's told me 15 times to buy a freaking can opener. I wish I could just pump it out of here like a breast pump. Here's the progress so far, you guys. I don't know why my camera is so dark. I'm literally getting a hand cramp in my hand. Sometimes I wish I wasn't so determined and I could just give up. There is no giving up in my world. This is the most ridiculous thing I've ever done in a YouTube video. First of all, take it, get naked. Strip for me. Never say never, fam. Don't give up. Insert inspirational quote here. Oh my gosh, we are so close. All right, guys, we have a cup. We have a destroyed can. And we have a very cramped up hand. This literally took 30 minutes to get. So this goes in here. Pumpkin puree. You can use milk or water, but you need a fourth of a cup. This is still good, don't know how, it's like a week old. Then you have to add the pumpkin spice, one and a half teaspoons. So this is pumpkin pie spice, that's the closest thing I could find at the store. I don't know, that's probably too much, who knows. Taste on a baking soda. Cracker brand baking soda. As you can tell, I did not know how this opened either. We just struggle all over the place around here, you guys. Half a teaspoon of salt. I've got the big fat salt, hopefully that's fine. Yeah, these are huge salt crystals. This may not bake right. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. All right, can we finally blend this crap? It's getting dark outside. We need to whisk this together. Y'all, look at it. It looks so good, it smells so good. Lastly, switch to a big spoon and stir in the flour. This is the most unprofessional cooking video you guys have probably ever seen. Unless you've seen any of my other videos. All right, this cannot have a lick of condensation in here. Flour might as well be a dehumidifier. This video is getting out of control. Also, I don't think I have the right kind of flour. One and three fourths cup whole wheat flour. I got the bleached white kind. It should be fine. One and three fourths of flour. <laughs> All right, it said switch to a big spoon. If there was ever a time to use my giant metal spoon, this would be it. And then waiting for this moment. Oh, I'm really nervous. Does it give me any tips? Stir in the flour. 
Oh gosh. Definitely should have used the bigger bowl. Note to self for next time. Did we get brave enough to do this again? Okay, here's the last little bit of flower. Y'all, it smells so good. This literally smells like October in a bowl. Look at it, you guys. Pour the batter into your loaf pan. We're finally at this step. Oh, here's our before. Actually, it says you can add cinnamon on the top. Ooh. And I got some chocolate chips to put on the top. Is that a kid that just screamed? All right, guys, here's the before. Do we think it's gonna turn out? Hey, Siri, set a timer for 55 minutes. Okay, your timer is set for 55 minutes. Bloop, bloop. Holy crap, it looks beautiful, but it looks a little burnt. Oh, I don't need Oh my gosh, you guys, it's burnt! Okay, guys, here's the after. Um. Maybe it's not burnt. Maybe that's the cinnamon I put on it. After it cools in the pan for 10 minutes, we need to put it on a cooling rack. I think I'm going to use... <laughs> Should work. Fine. <laughs> Don't do anything I do in any of my videos, you guys. I, I wouldn't recommend it. That one's hot. We're not going to do that one. I don't know how we're going to get this out, but we're going to try. Look at this little thing I'm bringing up. Hold on. I'll show you guys. This needs to be higher up. Hold on. <laughs> Here is my makeshift cooling rack. What do you guys think? <laughs> Shout out to my grandma for these. She always knows what I need. It's very fluffy, which is good. Don't, don't break, don't break, don't break. And there you guys have a dry rack. <laughs> Look at that pumpkin bread. Okay, we'll pretend like we're sawing it and it's falling off. Oh, girl. Update on our cold brew. It's been two and a half hours. It's looking pretty dark. Got a lot more hours left to go. Mmm. Oh my gosh, you guys. It is really good. And it's not burnt. It is a little hard on top, but the whole middle is cooked really well. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning when we test out our cold brew. The next morning. Good morning. I slept so good. I feel like a new person. And here we have 15 hours of cold brew sitting here brewing. I feel great, but I am I'm still tired. <laughs> Let's use my French press. I don't know what we're doing, if you guys can't tell. This still isn't going to hold it all, but it'll get us started. I bought these strainers. It's just not super, super fine, but I think it'll be a good starting point. You think? Maybe? It may all fit through here. We'll see. I'm gonna try this at home, kids. We'll just do it with this. Okay, guys? We ready? Making my cold brew. Oh, it is catching a lot. Oh, good. Coffee grounds in the trash. Let's use a regular coffee filter. When have they ever let us down? <laughs> what do we think? Oh, maybe not. That will take literally forever, but it will be super smooth coffee. We're not using a coffee filter. What if I use this, but then like covered up the hole and make it on my fingers, but. Oh my gosh, it's not going through. What's up? That was a fail. Okay, trying new things. Maybe we'll do this like over and over again. Oh, there's some silk. All right, turns out I'm just gonna use this little thing multiple times. I got these little, this is a whole set of three. There's a bigger one. I got it off Amazon. If you guys are wondering why I have a little tiny. <laughs> oh, these mesh holes may be bigger. That would make sense. If you guys were like, wow, she really thinks out loud a lot for the camera. No, this is what I do without the camera. I literally talk to myself and process everything verbally. All right, this is, I'm just transferring it over. Five, six times, but anyways, I'm gonna repeat this entire process for the other jar. I won't make you guys watch that. I think from one final filter thing, I am gonna put it through the French press just because that's what everyone recommends and there's probably a reason for that. I'm just gonna pour a jar in. I know you guys can't see it, but you can hear it. I'm pouring the jar in the French press. So you just push it, but you don't go too fast. You wanna make sure it's filtering. It's going really smoothly because I've already filtered it 15 times. Then you pour out the filtered coffee. Make sure the screen's going the right way. And yeah, it filtered out probably a teaspoon worth of stuff. I'm gonna put one jar in the fridge. Also, if you like hot coffee, you can definitely warm up the cold brew coffee and have like a hot cup of coffee. Oh, I'm gonna get me a slice of pumpkin bread with some cream cheese for a 
really sweet breakfast that will probably give me a stomach ache, but it's all for the aesthetic. This little guy in the fridge. Here's the setup. Do you guys like it? I heated up the pumpkin bread, spread some cream cheese, sprinkled some cinnamon. I put some ice in the cold brew for a little bit just to chill it out, but I didn't want to water it down. And I've got my Harvest Yankee candle. One week later. So it's been a week since I filmed this video. Thanks for making it to the end, but I totally forgot to say how the cold brew was. I have now made four jars of it and it tastes so good. I love it so much. It's very creamy and sweet smooth. It is so good. If you guys love cold brew, I recommend trying to make your own. You'll save a lot of money. And yes, I'm wearing my out of office shirt, even though I work today, even though it's Saturday. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.